The easiest way to set up the FinSuite cookie consent is by using one of our clonables. We have a few cool examples that you can choose from and customize them to your liking. Now, remember earlier I mentioned that the FinSuite cookie consent is 100% attribute based. Well, all of our clonables come with these attributes already applied. So you can literally customize the solution and set it up and running in under five minutes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Also, below in the description, you can find the link to the FinSuite cookie consent documentation, as well as the link to our clonables. First, you wanna clone the project. Once the clonable is loaded, you can see here that we're having five different versions of the cookie consent. Now, let's say that for this project, I wanna use version one with interactions. So I'm gonna go here to version one, and here I wanna select the outermost div block over here that has this class of set all components to display none. And I'm simply gonna copy that. I'm gonna head over to my other project. And here I'm gonna paste this inside of the body. Okay, and once it's here, I'm gonna customize it so it fits the rest of my site. So let's say here, I don't want these rounded, rounded corners, so I'm gonna set the radius here to reset, and I'm gonna change these colors over here to the color palette that I'm having on the side. So let's say here, I wanna change this. I'm gonna change this color, the text as well. And here, I'm gonna change this label the same color okay let's say i'm happy with it here i can see that also there's a different color so i'm gonna set this to my midnight blue color and let's say i'm happy with that now i can customize the cookie banner as well i'm gonna do the same thing here i'm gonna change the colors here and the outline the text and i'm gonna change these links over here as well Okay, and you'll notice here that all of these buttons have the right attributes applied. So you don't have to worry about that. All these checkboxes, they have the right attributes. So what you have to do next is you click here on your navigator and right over here, you have this component that says set all components to display none. So we're gonna do that. All of these components inside here, the banner, the manager component and the preferences component, we're gonna set to display none. And then we're gonna save this outer component as a symbol so it's easy for us to reuse on other pages. So we're gonna do that by clicking here and adding a new symbol and I'm gonna call it cookie consent. And that's awesome. We have the instance of the symbol here, but if we need to add it, let's say to another page, let's say to the privacy policy, then all I have to do is add that symbol in there, just like that. And it's not visible in the designer. It's not bothering us. We can design our site any way we want. It's not in the way. The next thing you wanna do is hit here on project settings. Once we're in our project settings, we're gonna head over to the custom code section. Here's where all of our third party cookie issuing scripts are located. And what we have to do right now is add attributes here that signal that this is a cookie issuing script, first of all, and then we're gonna also add another attribute which places this script in one of our three category of cookies, marketing, personalization, or analytics. So to do that, we're gonna write here first type equals quotation marks, and inside we're gonna write FSCC. Now, if the user hits the deny button, every one of these scripts that has this attribute applied will be turned off. So we're gonna add this to all of our cookie issuing scripts.
So we have this script right over here and here we have our Facebook pixel script. Now you'll notice that as soon as we add this attribute, our color formatting disappears. However, this is intended and this is okay. So if this happens, don't think that the code will not be working. It will be working. This is intended. And here at the bottom, you'll notice that we have this no script tag from Facebook. And this will not work. We cannot turn off no script tags with our FSCC attributes. So what we have to do here is delete this. Basically, the no script the content that's inside of the no script tag gets fired only if one of our users has JavaScript disabled in the browser, which is a very small percentage anyway. Okay, so we have this and what we have to do right now is add a second attribute of fscc equals and in quotation marks, we're going to write the categories that these cookies belong to. And in this case, we're just having analytics cookies. So we're going to write here analytics like this, and we can copy this attribute and paste it to all of our scripts. So here we have Google Analytics, and here we have Facebook pixels. Okay. And the last thing that's missing here is our FinSuite cookie consent script. So we're going to head over to our with cookie consent documentation and here we're going to click on option three and below here at the bottom under step five you can see that we have this fins with cookie consent script we're going to copy this and we're going to head back to webflow we're going to paste this all the way at the top here and uh, if you would like to change it to option two opt out of cookies, you could simply write opt out here. As for now, I'm going to leave it to opt in since this is the GDPR compliant option out there. Okay, I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to publish our changes. As you can see here on the published site, we have our cookie consent working, and we can open the preference manager. Here, we can set up which cookies do we want to keep, which cookies don't we want to keep, and we can save our preferences. And you'll notice that we can always adjust our preferences here in the cookie manager. Now you'll notice also that if we refresh this page, our preferences will be saved. If you don't feel comfortable editing script tags and adding attributes, we have a product for you that's 100% free and it adds the right attributes to the script tags. All you have to do is graphically select in which categories the script falls and the cookie oven will apply those attributes to the script. Then you can simply copy that, paste it back into Webflow and it's going to work out of the box. Here's a link to the video that walks you through the process using the cookie oven. Another thing, if you're not 100% sure if you set up everything correctly, you can use the visual debugging tool that helps you find errors in your setup. There's a video walkthrough right over here. And what this does is it shows you visually which cookies are getting fired, which cookies are not getting fired, and if there are any errors in your setup. For now though, let's recap what we just learned. In step one, we cloned our FinSuite cookie consent. In step two, we pasted it on our site and we customized it so it fits our visual identity. In step three, we added attributes to our script tag. And in step four, we added the FinSuite cookie consent script. And that is how you add an FinSuite cookie consent to your Webflow site. Thanks for watching. Check out more FinSuite videos to keep learning Webflow.